Harry, you're first. Harry Zavos, followed by Margaret Hammond. Let me just say a few comments. I hadn't intended to speak at oral communication, but what's transpired uh, triggers some comments I'd like to make. Uh, the comment was made that if the transfer was discontinued, that... Point of order, Mr. Mayor? I'm not talking about the transfer. I said the, order, I'm not going to talk Mayor. about the transfer Point or of any order, of that. Mr. Hold on, hold on, and Mr. Mayor. Mr. Time. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I know where, where Mr. Mr. Jarn is going with this, is that this item was on the agenda, and the purpose of oral communications is to speak on items not on the agenda, so it's certainly within your discretion uh, to not permit him to speak on this particular I'm not going to speak on the transfer. No, no, it's not the transfer. It's anything that was on the agenda. So it's not, it's not anything that's on the agenda. Okay. And you've taken up much of my time. No, Let no, me get my point out. I gave you uh, yeah. time to uh, stop. The, 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 the comment was made that if, in fact, the transfer was discontinued, then uh, budgets would have to be cut for uh, city services. Now, the point is that the city can get increased revenue for uh, uh, public services. There's nothing to stop this council from going to the public and putting a revenue increase on the ballot and have those people that would be upset if those budgets were cut for those other funds to vote for an increase. There is no legal impediment to go to the people and ask the people to replace what would be lost if the electrical transfer wasn't made. That uh, can, can I go? I mean, uh, I, think, I think it's all, I, again, I think it is all related to, to the issues that were brought up at this particular agenda item. So my suggestion is. No, it has nothing to do with the transfer. I'm just talking well, about. Again, the, the tra Mr. Zavos, the transfer, the staff report, the agenda item was not just on the transfers with respect to the electric rate increase. Whether I'm not talking the about the electric rate increase. I'm talking about the fact that this city can get increased revenues for anything having to do with general services by going to the people and getting a vote. You don't have to yell, sir. Right. Well, you keep cutting me off and not letting me speak. I think this, one of the I'm reasons. Sorry, the speaker's uh, listen, out of order, Mr. Mayor. You have to wait now. Right. We gave you time. You still I, have I thought, your five minutes. I thought this is my time to speak. Mr. We've given you time. You know what the rules are, Harry. You know that they're not supposed to be agenda items at oral communication. You're stretching the boundary. I am we not. have an attorney here. Uh, did you have a question, Mr. Jarrett? I just want to remind Mr. Zavos that this is not the GWP commission where he can make himself at home on the <laughs> dais and have an unlimited number of times. That We have to run the meeting, and you're doing a very good job of running the meeting, Mr. Mr. Mayor. I have by, I'm, Why am I being interrupted, Mr. Mayor? Uh, go ahead. Keep going. I think... Uh, I just want to know if I can speak here or whether... Well, I thought that we had no, oral... You're, okay, I can't speak. No, you can't. I'm going to give you a chance to right. do your five minutes. Go ahead, Ms. Sanjari. Again, the, the point is for oral communications is for speakers to address any subject not on the agenda. And all up to this point, everything that Mr. Zavos has been referring to is related to the agenda items and was discussed. Um, yeah, that's I, 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 for the record. I, I agree. I mean, it's it, the point of oral communications is not to rebut staff or council member on something that was discussed in conjunction with an agenda item. It's to discuss other items that are not on the agenda or related to that agenda item that was discussed as part of as part of the matter. Okay, so why don't you talk about your concept? Let, of right, let, let, let me let me finish, would right. you please? Why don't you talk about your concept of letting? Uh, uh, the public vote on uh, higher refuse rates or whatever it is. That, That's that, exactly what I was okay, talking but about. But don't tie it. Don't tie it to the uh, to the transfer or the electric. You know, Mr. Mayor, yeah. when this agenda item is uh, presented, it's presented to say that the speaker can speak and the council will not respond. It's my five minutes. I had three minutes earlier. You on that dais can take 20 minutes after I've had my five minutes and go on and on and on, and you're begrudging me my five minutes. And the only point I was making wasn't talking about the transfers, wasn't talking about whether they were legal, not talking about whether or not an increase in the rates had to be put on the agenda. I was simply making the point that there are other sources of revenue to the city if it needs money for general services other than transfers. 
it, there's nothing to stop the city from going to the public and saying, if the transfers are discontinued, we need to have additional revenue for these services, vote for it, and if they vote for it, the revenue will be there. Now, let me make a second point. Yes, I am a lone voice, and maybe people will come and agree with me. But you know, all changes start, start with a lone, a, a lone voice. That's what the marketplace of ideas is about. And if nobody agrees with me, I am firm in my conviction as to the soundness of what I have to say. And if many people agree with me, it doesn't necessarily make me right. And I have been willing to ask the public to go to the documents that I have uh, put on the internet to look for themselves what's there. Uh, and uh, frankly, that's what this should be all about. Now, if in fact the city is apathetic, the people are apathetic, and they don't care about the rate increases, <clears throat> then fine, eventually I'll stop coming because I can't fight this battle myself. And the battle I fight is not to hurt the city. I happen to think that the city should obey the law. When I came and talked about the water transfers, I came because I felt those water transfers were in violation of the state constitution. I come here on the, water, on the transfer of the electrical fees because I think it violates the fundamental law of the charter. And I think when in fact... Point of order, point of order Mr. Mayor. I'm point talking about order. why I... Mr. Mayor. Um, you've admonished the speaker several times. Uh, look, and we're back the again. public is watching. You can decide from the, yourself whether or not this is an appropriate way to shut me down. And if you want to, you will. But, but look, I don't we're think not it looks shutting good. You down. You well, know. that's what Mr. Najarian is trying to say. Aren't you admonishing me not to speak? Mr. Mayor, no? all I'm saying is that when the speaker again returns to the legality of transfers, that that was an issue that was agendized, it was discussed, and for the speaker to backdoor this again and try and slip it in and then throw the cloak of victimization on him is a total uh, inappropriate I, means I to address not. this council and to address those who may be watching. That's all I'm saying. If we don't have rules in the uh, procedures and the process of running this meeting, then it's going to turn into chaos. Despite any one speaker's uh, zealousness in presenting an argument, we have to stick to those, to be fair, to this speaker and every other speaker that comes before him and after him. It's a long-established rule, Mr. Zavis. I am okay, not go ahead. rehashing. Time in. Time in. Go ahead. I'm not rehashing that. I'm talking about my right to come here and state my position and give the public an opportunity to check what the basis of my opinion is. That's all I'm talking about. And uh, frankly, I will come at oral communication, and I will, over a series of oral communications, slowly go through the charter word for word so that the public, not just the council here, that's why this oral communication exists, not just for the council, but for also for the public that watches, and go through it word for word, so the, and step by step, so the public can follow what my reasoning is. At that point, I will no longer come before this council to repeat what I will say in the succeeding uh, or the upcoming weeks. All right, and you will have five minutes of uninterrupted time to do it. You can also show your, uh, your website. And since it won't be on the agenda, it'll be five minutes of uninterrupted. And I appreciate this, Mr. Mayor. Okay, the Mr. final. Mr. Mayor, I don't have to stand and listen to it since the council has made a decision to agree to disagree. Why do I have to sit and listen to it, right? I can, I can go out that door. Coming. No, no, you can't. You have to sit, <laughs> you can't order have to to sit here with the rest of us. <laughs> um, 